Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you get the most for your Jeep. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. In this week's episode, I'm going to show you a product that will give you a net gain of storage space. You'll see what I mean, so stick around. Well, we all know in the Jeep Wrangler, there's always the need for some storage. We do have the armrest console, the cup holders, there's even nets in the doors to serve as door pockets for storage. And in the JK, they even have a net in front of the gear shift lever. The JL doesn't have that. I think that's why the video on the cargo area storage bag and the video on the roll bar saddlebags were so popular. Well, I have an option that will give you a net gain of storage, and that is this option, another net. Let's go in the Jeep and I'll show you how it works. Okay, let's see how you install this net that gives you storage in this area between the front seats. You could put anything like water bottles, things like that. So we find which way is up by seeing the pockets and I want the pockets to face the front. So this clip will just fit around this headrest. And then I'll take this clip and fit it around this headrest. And then this clip, I'll just hook it under the bracket for the seat. And then do the same with this clip. And then you can see it's blocking the vents. You could leave it like this because air will still flow through. But if you didn't want that, you could just slip it over the vents and you've got nice storage here. And to take it off, it's just a simple thing. Just slide it off the clip right here. Just slide it off the clip right here. It comes out so easily. And then just unhook it at the bottom. And that's it. So if you don't want this out at the moment, you can just put it in the console storage box or in the glove box. Okay, so here I have it set up in the Jeep and you can see it doesn't really look out of place at all. It actually looks like it was just made for it. It matches the other netting that we have in the Jeep, like the nets in the side pockets on the doors. One thing that happens to me a lot is I'll have finished my coffee and just have the empty cup in the cup holder. And when I'm picking up another one, I don't know what to do with the other cup. Now I can't reach over to the back at the time to put it in the cup holder at the back. What am I going to do with that empty cup? I don't want to throw it on the floor. Well now I can just throw the empty cup into here until I can dispose of it. But you know there's a ton of things. For example, if you have a dog's leash, you just keep that right in here so it's handy when you need it. Uh, if you needed a place to keep your mask, just put it in there as well. Or if you have some Kleenex or wipes, you could put those in there, keep that out of place. And uh, if you didn't want your cell phone to be somewhere in the front with you, you could just toss it back in there as well. Now some of you may even want to throw your sunglasses in there, but I actually have a tip on a good place to store your sunglasses. And also, in addition to that, I have a discount code for those of you wanting to save some money and get yourself one of these. So I hope that you found that helpful. I think this is pretty cool and I'm glad I have this. I already know how I'm going to use it. Let me know if you're going to get one and what you envision using it for. It's not a lot of money and it gives you a lot of convenience. So in true Cheaper Jeeper TV fashion, I'm going to provide for you in the tip segment a way that you can save a little bit of money if you wanted to buy this yourself. Now for some Cheaper Jeeper tips. Well, for those of you interested in getting this storage net for your Jeeps, check out the discount code in the description section. But also, I, I mentioned I had a good tip on where you can store your sunglasses. It's right here on top of the rear view mirror. I just take my sunglasses with the lens facing forward and rest them right there on top of the mirror. So when I park the Jeep, I throw them up there, 
so when I get back in the Jeep, I could easily locate them, just take them off and put them on. I even drive with these sunglasses sitting right there, because with the nose piece just kind of wedged with that mirror support piece, it tends to stay there, and I've only had it fall off when I was on an off-road trail bouncing around. But most of the time, it's pretty secure there, and it's a handy place. And now for subscribers' tips. This week's subscriber tip comes from our Rust Proofing Tips video. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV, the crown guy in my area drills holes into your car which I don't want done. The fluid film guy doesn't. That's what does it for me. Signed, John. Hey John, thank you so much for your tip and in fact we're going to be doing another update on rust proofing that you're going to find interesting because fluid film comes up in that video. So thank you very much. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. I hope that you found it interesting. If you did, how about giving this video a thumbs up? And if you're new to the channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you'll be notified when the next video is released. Until the next time, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.